Hi, I'm Tico Ohms. I'm Deputy Principal in the Middle School. And I'm Patrick Green, the Middle School Technology Coordinator. The purpose of this video is to help you navigate PowerSchool in the new environment of standards-based grading. First thing we need to do is get logged in. So I navigate to the PowerSchool public portal, which is linked off of the SAS website, or it's powerschool.sas.edu.sg slash public. I'm going to enter my username and my password. A quick note that if you've never been to PowerSchool, you'll want to create an account first down here because you don't have the credentials to sign in up here. There's another video on the website for that. So the first thing you'll note is that this looks different than some of the screens you've seen in the past. This screen is a summary of your child's performance in all their classes. Yeah, And at the top, the first thing you're going to see is their learning behaviors per class. So vertically listed is all their classes and then there's going to be a chart showing how your child is doing in the different learning behaviors that they're being assessed on. We're not using A, B's, C's, and D's for um, learning behaviors. We're actually using how consistently they exhibit the behavior. So the words we're showing are we're using are consistency, uh, consistently, frequently, occasionally, and rarely. Then if you scroll down a little bit Again, you have a summary of uh, their performance, and in this case, it would be academic standards. What you would see is all the courses, and you would see all of the standards that are being assessed or that have been assessed per course. You will not see a grade for a particular course. You will only see grades for the standards in those courses. If a standard has not been assessed, it will not show up here. All right, so we can take a deeper dive into one of the courses. We'll click on RLA here to see the more detailed view of what's going on in the class. So to see how they do on particular assignments, you click on that class, then this shows up, and you will see all of the assignments that have been graded here. For example, as you look at the top, you'll see that the first one was in the category Learning Behaviors and the teacher has summarized this student's learning behaviors for August and they have uh, scored the student in collaboration, organization, reflection, and responsibility. Yeah, They have also shown you a green check mark on the far right and that means that that has been collected, that that evidence has been received. That becomes important in something like the next assignment that is the reading survey. You'll see on the far right that it has been collected and the only information here, this has not been tied to a standard, is to tell you that that work has been turned in. And the teacher is communicating to the parent that that work was turned in. At the bottom, if we, if we scroll down a little bit, you will see the different kinds of information that a teacher can uh, communicate to parents using these symbols, whether it's collected, late, or missing. Okay? And then as we scroll back up, you'll see that for each assignment, which standards were assessed per assignment, and then which grade they received for each standard. The last thing that I'll point out on this page is that anything hyperlinked in blue links you to some other information. So here you see that the assignment title is hyperlinked. If I click on that, it takes me to a description of that assignment. So the teacher may have entered a little more information than just the assignment title. If I go back, You'll also notice that see comment shows up whenever a teacher has put a comment in for that student for that assignment. So this is a specific comment for this student and the teacher may choose to communicate with the child this way. However, please note that this is, you know, most communication around uh, how a child is doing is given directly to the student. Power School is really just a summary and not all teachers use this sort of commenting. Yep. So teachers usually will feed back directly to the student. On at times, they may use Power Teacher to add to that feedback. All right, let's pop back over uh, to our menu here on the left, and this time we're going to hit the Attendance History button. So the Attendance History will, is, is the screen that you go to to see when the student is absent or when the student is tardy. And this screen will summarize by date and by class absences and tardies so you can make note of that. 
One last thing we want to show you in the navigation of PowerSchool is this email notification button, and we're going to encourage you not to use it. Basically, if we were using a traditional method of grading, this could email you out uh, simple grades and scores. But because we're giving you much more detail than that, um, you'll want to go back to the grades and attendance screen and actually look at all the information that we're supplying you with. The email notification for the middle school at SAS does not work. Thank you for listening to our video. We hope you find it has been helpful for you to navigate this, uh, these new screens, and we also hope that you'll find the information more useful in seeing how much your student is learning and growing at SAS.